Result, Brisbane come wide to Milford, out to Boyd, right foot step, Darius is over. Good work, Brisbane. here just to do a bit of a resilience based um, presentation. Uh, I've been doing a fair few throughout different schools throughout the year and obviously mental health and resilience is a tough subject to talk about sometimes but uh, I suppose obviously being a rugby league player we have a profile so it's easy to come out and, uh, and use that and the kids recognise you and they probably watch a lot of footy or play it themselves. What he's been able to do off the field in his spare time um, coming to schools present his workshop in terms of uh, resilience and you know, a lot of these People see rugby league stars as big tough guys. They think their life's perfect when life's not perfect. You know, growing up he had a lot of challenges. You know, never met his dad and his mum was sick and his grandma had to look after him. So, you know, that's a, a pretty good reason there for a guy not to succeed. But his story is quite powerful. You know, coming here, sharing the story with these young guys who are just coming through their school, who might face the same challenges. And I know there's a lot of Indigenous kids who have that. It's been great having Darius come out to our school. He's been out here twice now, but the great thing for us is it he provides them with the, the skills um, and the will to want to do this and to actually have a go. And, and it's not, you know, not be afraid of falling over and get up and have another go. And, you know, so have some real life examples that Darius talks about to our students uh, enables them to unlock their potential. You know, he's a real thing and he comes out and tells his story and it's a brave thing and I actually think that Darius has helped him become more resilient as well by doing these sorts of things and you know, it's a credit to him and we're certainly very appreciative. Just to write down three things that you're grateful for in that day. Uh, that can be your oh, I was very day. proud even just to be nominated. Uh, obviously it's a, a big medal about being out in the community and doing, doing good and giving back and uh, that's something that I've really prided myself on and, and like I said this year more so I suppose my rugby league uh, my, my form on the field hasn't been up to my standard I would have liked this year but uh, on the other side I've been able to really do some good things off the field so uh, it just reiterates the fact that my rugby league's given me a lot and I'm grateful to, to have in my life that um, there's other things that you can do and, and be proud of as well.